The ignition coil works with the flywheel to create the electric charge needed to fire the spark plug. A magnet in the flywheel passes by the ignition coil, exciting the coil wire, creating an electric charge that is then sent to the spark plug. The coil will wear out over time and can eventually fail. Sometimes ignition coils fail all at once. Other times they will fail intermittently. Often a bad coil will work when it's cold and then fail once it is warmed up. Replacing the ignition coil is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi. I'm Mark Sochester. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the motor cover. Before you can remove the fuel tank or the fuel line, you'll need to drain the gas from the tank. I've done that ahead of time, so let's get started. The fuel tank is secured to the engine with three screws up top and one down below. I'll go ahead and remove them. With the screws removed, I can remove the tank. Now remove the blower housing. First, I'll remove the screw that secures the oil filler. And I'll tilt the filler off to the side. The housing is secured with four screws. With the screws removed, I can remove the blower housing. Now I have access to the ignition coil. I'll remove the spark plug boot and remove the screws that secure the coil to the engine. I'll remove the wire from the back of the coil. Now I can install the new ignition module. You'll notice it's quite a bit different from the old one, but don't worry, it will fit just fine. It's important you mount the module the right direction. You'll notice it's marked on one side, cylinder side, and the other, this side out. I'll align the ignition module so the cylinder side is pointing down towards the cylinder. Then I'll reconnect the grounding wire and align the module to the flywheel. There needs to be an air gap between the module and the flywheel. I'll set that using a gapping tool. It's just a thin piece of plastic, in this case 14 thousandths of an inch thick. If you don't have one of these, a thick business card will also work. I'll place the gapping tool between the magnets on the flywheel and the ignition module. Then I'll reinstall the screws. I'll hold the ignition module tightly against the gapping tool and flywheel and tighten up the screws. Then I can remove the gapping tool. I'll route the plug wire between the throttle linkage bracket and the cylinder head and reinstall the boot onto the spark plug. And now I can reinstall the blower housing. I'll realign the filler neck with the housing and secure it with the screw.
Now I can reinstall the fuel tank. I'll place the fuel tank around the starter. Align it with the holes in the blower housing and secure it with the screws. and I'll reconnect the fuel line. And I'll finish by reinstalling the motor cover. And that's how you can replace the ignition coil in your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.